Argent Argentina. Of course, a draw earlier today. They've been playing so well. Earlier in the competition, they've been on the podiums, but a 12 will draw with France and Scotland. Well, Scotland absolutely had their chances. So Scotland and Argentina will get back out there. As I said, Scotland beaten 19-12 by Ireland in their first match. And they were in it. They were disappointed. They let that last try slip. Gaston Revolt for Argentina. Yep. Madison Hughes has had to switch positions. We've got you come scooting around the outside because the time's a bit condensed today. So have a breather. Argentina, yeah, Scotland apparently. We're into next of all. Argentina will really want to improve from that first match. Absolutely. The draw in the first game isn't how they'll have wanted to start this tournament. So now they need to build into it. They need to start getting into their passages of play and show that they're ready to perform and ready to take it up a notch. Argentina in there. The blue and white hoops of Los Pumas. And Scotland in there. All blue, ready to go. Second match of the pool on, for these teams. And away goes Argentina through Gaston Revolt. Knock on advantage. Educated boot. As De La Vega couldn't bring it down, it fell on Scotland's side, and then it was just an awkward landing, really, for Scotland. And it will give Argentina a really good chance to attack straight away. Yeah, absolutely. And Argentina, the scrum, now they've got a great attacking platform. This is so good to attack from because all the players, oh, so sorry, eight of the players are condensed into this short passage inside the 15. What looks like it might be a Scotland scrum, actually. So great chance for Scotland to attack right at the beginning of this match and get into their passage to the play. Must have been Scotland. Oh, 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 Second knock on as Barreto clears this away for Scotland. Their chance to attack away. They do so and they look to get wide early. Ridden into the ground. Rock! There's Henry. Using the width of the field. McCann, a little flick ball out the side, and Argentina had shot up in defence. Just can't quite link up, though. Almost open up for Scotland with good work through the middle from McCann. Yeah, the Argentinian defender, I think he thought he had a chance at the intercept, flies out of the line, and that it's a 100-0 it's a play. If you make it, you're in under the post, but if not, the defence can be in, and Scotland unable to take advantage of the last pass, just not quite going to hand. It's the risk and reward of Sevens Rugby for sure. There's the veteran Gaston Revol, 86th tournament on the World Series, down the back of the line, and he goes, and he gets that return ball, keeps his feet nicely to get this ball away to Wade Argentina looking for a little probe through all damage to just caught awkwardly stood in the tackle well though to allow them clear revolt hit good hit two coming in from Scotland and it's a loose ball it's a scramble ball Argentina unable to tie it up Moneta had a couple of goes at it and eventually it falls to Scotland then back for Argentina someone's going to get it as it rolls around the ground and we'll just keep playing on. Wait, no, we'll finally wait, stop yes. because I think Thank you. even the referee just thought, well, that's all a bit messy. <laughs> we'll just see the scrum might be easier. easier. That was quite something. Neither team seemed to want any any sort of possession there. The last one, Scotland with the knock-on, I think, as you said, the referee deciding enough's enough. There must have been a knock-on by each team in that little bit. Um, but now Bounce. Scotland getting the ball, having a scrum right in the middle of the field. They're stacking two defenders in behind, Bang. one out wide to the left. So Argentina have had to counter. They've Set. got two defenders on the left here. So a lot Hold. of space to the left for Scotland. Hold. And they'll probably wrap both of their attackers around with the scrum half. No, no, here no. goes Scotland scooting away to the left through. They go good hands and good support play as well. There's Barreto. Clears away from the ruck. Is that one correct? Up? No, and in around the ball. And it's really good strength from Paddy Kelly. Off. Eventually able to lay it back and they'll get the penalty. No clear release from the tackle. So Khalid Barreto goes again for Scotland. They've been trying to find a couple of holes. Elms is hitting a good tackle and that's a nice wide ball. Spying some space wide for Fundale. Really good heads up. Barreto the ball, Fundale the finish. Scotland doing well to hold on possession. We saw on actually both of the prior... Um, 
phases. The last man was wide open in the wide channel. That time able to get through one extra pass, get the ball to Fondel. Nice little fired out flat miss pass there. Fondel and yeah, not many people can stop him in that sort of space. And it's a good start for Scotland. They didn't start off how they all have wanted to earlier either. Um, and so getting on the board and showing Argentina that they're here to play and are not going to be a, a rollover team at all. Conversion is just wide. So Scotland through the experience, the skipper, Jamie Fandau, 51 tournaments now. Restart is short. Is it? No, it doesn't go the 10 metres. In front so of the final hand position back to Argentina on halfway. We've seen that quite a few times today, and I wonder if it's a testament to a lot of the teams having some more inexperienced guys going for those really fine margins. You're trying to stick it 11 meters exactly, and that's when it creeps in, it goes nine, and it's a basic error, fundamental error, and you're better off putting it 13 or 14 meters and asking you guys to chase behind. Oh, change of attack here from Argentina, stabbing the kick through, it stays in field. How's the soccer skills? They're Argentine, of course they're brilliant. And as Marcos Moneta, what a play. Change of tactic from Argentina works to absolute perfection. Oh, it's a tactic Argentina have been so good at over the years. And when you've got a player like Moneta, it looks like he's moving at a different speed than everyone else. It's absolutely amazing. He was such a standout performer at the Olympics, put the ball in behind, and he just flies onto the ball. As you said, the very deft touch. Lionel Messi would be proud um, and follows it up. And then we'll have the conversion here from the touchline to come. What a wonderful young player. He is a star of the Tokyo Olympics, <laughs> how's the nudge as well? Yeah, fantastic touchline conversion and it puts Argentina up seven and that's again, you've got to build those sevens and those two points, they can be so crucial as you get into the end of the second half. Argentina go ahead seven points to five and their restart is advantage. good but I think that's come off the hand of Herman Schultz and has Lasted so forward again, wait. can't able to Retain their restart. Boy, Musa, what a star he has become. World Sevens Men's Player of the Year last year. Let's go. Let's go. Crouch. Was key to them coming from behind in the first game Mine. of the day. To draw with Set. France. Hold, hold, first. Make sure you hook the ball, hooker. Thank you. Ball spits out the back. And it's Davidson, Nick Davidson. Tries a little change of tack as well. Advantage. Doesn't quite come off Knock on. as well for Scotland, almost though. I'm seeing a little bit of variation from teams so far today. Yeah, pulling a page out of the Argentine playbook there, going for it, just not quite able to. You saw he, one extra little, tiny little bit on the in the air, and he would have been right in under that. Uh, off to the races, but gives Argentina possession. and. That's, you never really want to do that. If you can see to try, it's really important to get some phases of play going, get some momentum going, so you kind of create a bit of distance between the opposition attack. Hold, hold. Argentina attack from inside their own half, looking to step and weave away through as Gonzalez. Revolt straight up through the middle. A few hard yards from some of the big boys trying to wrestle to the ground. It's good strength and defence from Scotland. And then the rip came from... McCann, wonderful work in defence from Scotland, and what's it going to create an attack for Fandel? Tries to stab a kick through around the outside as he ran out of room. Argentina, well, I was just going to say, is able to tidy it up, but knocked Lasted it on forward. in the process, Gonzalez, and it'll take us into half time. A little bit scrappy from both teams, but a couple of nice, classy touches. See Argentina go ahead at the break, seven points to five. Teams are ready to go. Really important match, second game of the pool. And now, Colleen Barreto. Oh, nicely taken down by the tall, strong figure of Herman Schulz to get Argentina back underway. Happy to just barrel it straight up the middle this time as Gonzalez. And now nice quick ball, and there's another little sad kick through. The chase is good, the speed, the wheels, this again on the foot. It's weighted to absolute perfection. Marcus Moneta, unbelievable skill from an unbelievable talent. 
knowing exactly where the space is, exactly what he needs to do in that second touch. It's so hot. He's at full sprint. Defenders are converging on him. Oh, we're going to look at the... It looked Walker good for me. I, I wonder if there was no referees in the vicinity, and so they wanted someone who, who had had a view of that. But, yeah, don't have referees at the back of the end goal for these games. So I think the touch judges, the referee, they're all left behind by the pace of Mineta, and we didn't have anyone had a, who had a good view of this. But, yeah, fantastic finish from Mineta. He saw the space in behind, knew he had the pace, but for me, it's that second kick. It was really fantastic. He's at full sprint, has to be able to boot it, and he puts it down exactly equidistant between the try line and the dead ball in between the posts yeah a special talent and i think we're only seeing the beginnings of what he can become 22 years of age in the sevens world at his feet two tries in the match two pieces of brilliance and he's put argentina ahead 14 points to five and again, it's great work oh, close, on, at the restart, okay. just like it was Hands before, up. and it's the same man again, Schultz. So key for Argentina, Revolt, quick hands this time, hit well, needed to be hit too. Forward pass. I haven't let him run too much so far, and he's carved them up, so now Scotland will get some ball. Yeah, Scottish defender really identifying Jacob Henry, that that was the time he could launch out of the line. And Argentina perhaps getting a slightly too flat, and that's when the defenders Grouch. can make a difference. And it, again, it's, you, it's a fine line. If you fly, Wine. you've got to make a difference. Oh, because three. if you Upstream. don't get there before the man is able to get the pass away, they're hey, going to be able to put hold, no one in front of them. Hold. Argentina, bind up. In and out it goes for Barreto. Court just on his own side of halfway. Argentina trial tried to pile in, but did so illegally, according to the referee. Hands past the ball first. Change attack for Scotland this time. Plugging the corner, getting some territory. Trying to create from the set piece. Time off. We got subs. Yeah, penalty. Lots of decisions to be made. You can go for the line out. You can gain the territory and have the line out. You can go a scrum and bring everyone in, or you can go for the quick tap and exploit a disorganized defense. So, and you've got to make that decision, a especially ball. for the quick tap, in a split second. So, and it can have such a big difference. So, a lot going into each team and each player's heads. There's a distinctive style. Some teams like to do certain things. Scotland deciding now it's time to slow it down, go for the line out, pull some people in, uh, and see what they can create. Boleto to Burrito to throw to the line out and he'll tidy up the loose ball as well. He's in a good game so far. Key playmaker for them, Davidson. Release. And he's released in the tackle and McCann with the purple hair. Clears away. Good hands from Harvey Elms. And again, it's nice and quick for McCann. He ain't getting through there. Good tackle revolt. Good patience, though, from Scotland. Burrito, and then the change of angle and inside ball. Once more, the hands are good from Elms. Building up towards the 22. Scotland tapped on by McCann. Barndale's got a little bit of room outside. It quickly closes back down, and he is driven into the turf. And penalty goes against Scotland, against McCann for coming in. It was a great stop, spot tackle made to stop that Scotland move. Yeah, just inaccuracy at the breakdown. So he's coming in, he's expecting a collision from the Argentinian defender, and when it doesn't come, he's just going off and sealing and preventing the competition. They try to go wide quickly this time, Argentina, through Luciano Gonzalez. Oh, there's a little bit of space here for me to try yeah. to put it on the toe again. Moneta, not this time. Play on. But he doesn't need a lot of room. Scotland able to stop him. They've gone quickly. Play on. Hacked ahead and play on is the call again. More Argentine ball here. Wade. Then through the legs for Revol. Nutmeg looked out, saw McCann coming towards him. Gonzalez. One way to the other. Ducked under a high shot. Got support too from Schultz. The big man stretching the legs. Chased all the way. He's got a big 60 metre gut busting run to the corner. But Hermann Schulz, with all his experience, years on the circuit, scores in the corner and sucks in some big deep breaths. 
Argentina finishing off the try for the try at the end of yeah an exhausting movement I think those two big forwards looked up they saw the try line 60 meters away and they're like eyeing each other up okay how fast are we going to go here we'll both go at the same speed and see if we can get there but Herman Schultz having enough in the legs to finish it off and put a try that should put Argentina out of reach there and we saw it earlier, Manetta had a little bit of space, tried to put it on. There was the next passage, he was pointing the other direction. I don't want it back. So I think it's testament to the players. They're really giving it everything out there, starting to get tired. And Argentina yeah, really now is. able to bring some guys off the bench to finish off this game. 19 points to five now, Argentina. And this much more, the Argentine form that we've seen in the series so far this year. They sit third overall. Been on the podium a handful of times. Missed out in Singapore last week, fifth. There's Revolt, there's Pinpoint. Backwards! His restart, nicely done as Ithgro knocks it down. Play it's on. gone backwards off an Argentine hand though, so play on for Scotland. Elms stopped in midfield and now the pressure coming on defensively from Argentina. It's allowed to get up and go again if the tackle it. Didn't hold. Scotland are going to have to go a long way, and they've put in a lot of work as well. Good ball over the top. And still going is Jordan Edmonds, and still look at him driving the legs. Eventually, they get him to ground, Argentina, and they'll earn a penalty too. Holding. Yeah, 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 Just yeah, yeah. held on yeah. one little bit too long. Really tough on oh, Jordan Edmonds. Argentina won't mind. Velez. Back then. Well, I think Edmonds left so many defenders in his wake that it impeded the entry of the guys coming to support Number him. Argentina can try to move the ball wide. In blue. And just, yeah. It, Hang on, it looks like as he's trying to pass the ball out, one of the Scottish hands gets in the way. Intentional knock on. And we, we've seen that all day. Doesn't matter if we'll he's really trying to get it. It's a react, a reflexive action. It's a yellow card and he's going to have to sit for two minutes. Yeah, Sopalara and the temptation just to put the hand out, isn't it? But it needs to be a really obvious, clear attempt at an intercept. And the players know, don't they? He ran back into the defensive line and probably thought, oh, Let's go, you he hasn't, 15 seconds. hasn't seen it. Captain. But they often do. Yeah, you hope you can get away with it, but the time referees off. and the touch judges, there are so many eyes on you, they see just about Hang everything. On, uh, that's unfortunate for Soft Lara and Scotland, um, but at this stage of the game, not really making a massive difference for the, for the final score, although every point can be important, so they'll want to show, okay, we've got, we got last time play of the game here, can we stop the scoring Grinch. and make sure that this is the scoreline that... Fine! Set! Hold, 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 hold! Hold. Hook the ball! Oh! One see if Argentina are going to attack once more. Well, they will now because they've got a penalty to play with. So they will fancy themselves the again. Handing off players. Saboto. And now again, a little stab kick through. Well, they worked it okay, so well once more. The kick in behind. The chase will come across from Scotland, but not going to get there. Agustin Fraga finishes off You're tries from kicks. Have okay, been the good. order of the day for Argentina. Thank you. Perfect skills once more. Captain, here's the mark. Yeah, the kick being a really good strategy for Argentina all game. Um, and yeah, Fraga, the recipient there. Really good kick across the field and taking advantage of the open space. And it's hard when you pull a team all the way to one direction, especially with the sweeper coming, uh, there's going to be space on the other side. Very good performance from Argentina to get things rolling for them here in Vancouver. They finish out 24 points to five over Scotland.